Greetings Plan Bers and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. The United States is often considered a first world country and a leader. However, there are some who believe that the US is no longer so. There are a number of factors that can be used to determine whether or not a country is first world. These include economic indicators such as GDP per capita as well as social indicators such as the infant mortality rate. When looking at the economic indicators, the US is still typically considered a first world country. The US has a high GDP per capita and is considered to be one of the most economically developed countries in the world. However, there are some who believe that the US is no longer as economically prosperous as it once was. In recent years, there has been a growing gap between the rich and the poor in the US, and many middle-class families are struggling to make ends meet. When looking at social indicators, the US is no longer considered to be a first world country. The infant mortality rate in the US is higher than in most other developed countries, and the US ranks poorly in terms of access to healthcare and education. There are also high levels of crime and violence in the US, which can be another factor that contributes to the country's decline. There are some signs that suggest that the US is no longer as prosperous or as developed as it once was. Some people argue that the United States is still a first world country, while others contend that it has slipped into second or third world status. Those who believe that the US is still a first world country point to its high levels of economic development and technological innovation. They also cite the country's relatively stable political system and its status as a global military superpower. On the other hand, those who believe that the US has slipped down the ranks contend that income inequality is rising sharply, poverty rates are increasing, and infrastructure is deteriorating. They also point to the country's high levels of gun violence and mass incarceration. There are many ways that the United States can retain its place as a first world country and a world leader. One way is by continuing to lead the world in innovation and technology. The United States has always been a leader in innovation and that has helped to make it a first world country. Another way the United States can retain its place is by maintaining a strong economy. The United States has the largest economy in the world and it is one of the most stable economies. Finally, the United States needs to continue enabling a high standard of living for its citizens. The United States has a very high standard of living and that is one of the reasons why it is a first world country. If the United States can continue to lead the world in innovation and technology, maintain a strong economy and provide a high standard of living for its citizens, it will retain its place as a first world country. It can also be argued that there is no question that the United States is still the world leader when it comes to military and economic power. But there are many other countries that are quickly catching up and in some cases surpassing the US in certain areas. So how can the US retain its place as the world leader? Like we said, one way is by continuing to invest in its military. The US has the strongest military in the world and it spends more on defense than any other country. But other countries are increasing their defense spending as well. So the US cannot rely on its military might alone to stay ahead. Another way is by investing in education and research. The US has always been a leader in education and innovation, but other countries are catching up. China, for example, now has more students enrolled in higher education than the US. And India, Singapore, South Korea and Japan have all surpassed the US in math and science test scores. So if the US wants to retain its place as the world leader, it will need to continue to invest in both its military and its education. 
It will also need to continue to innovate and create new technologies and industries that can provide jobs and drive economic growth. Take care of home before you take care of the world. Hey Plan Beers, I hope you're enjoying these episodes. Make sure that you subscribe to Plan B Success podcast and the YouTube channel and leave a comment. Let's have a discussion, a dialogue about what you love and what else can I bring in your service. Thank you.